Hello everybody. Uh, in this video we're going to answer the question is a function continuous at a point and then if so we'll take it a step further and we'll see if we can do something to make it a continuous function. We'll also kind of address how limits play into that. Here we have this function right here. We'll call it f of x as we normally do. And it's a piecewise function. And we obviously see several points of discontinuity. In fact that's the first question we're going to ask. Where is f of x discontinuous. Well, looking from the graph, we can see it is discontinuous at 0, 1, and 3, but it is continuous everywhere else. Now, we want to ask, can we make f of x continuous at those points of discontinuity? Um, the phrase that usually goes with that is extending a function. Sometimes you'll be asked, how can you extend a function? basically fill in a circle, a, a, a removable discontinuity, so that you can make it continuous. Um, for zero, all we have to do is define the function and say f of zero equals zero. And that takes care of that. Now, we can also close the gap at one. If we say f of 1 equals 1. Notice that's the result of just filling this in. Now we would have a little bit of problem up here keeping this f of 1 equals 2 value that would have to be um, eliminated um, or you can in, in, in essence bring it down here because we would fail to have a function if we filled in the open circle right here and here it would not pass the vertical line test. Now doing those two things would make it continuous except at three. We want to make this continuous right here. We have a jump discontinuity. We need to also fill in the circle. In order to extend this function we'd have to drop down a vertical line here. It wouldn't fail to be a function at that point. You can't have a function be a vertical line on an xy plane. So the best we can do is these two values right here. Okay, let's look at this example here. Uh, the question is, is f of x continuous at x equals 2? If not, extend the function to make it continuous. Okay, well, um, as we can see, the way it sits right now is it is not continuous. If we put 2 in for x, we would have 0 in the denominator, thereby making some sort of discontinuity. Um, so to answer the question, is f of x continuous the way it stands now, no. Now, that's not to say we couldn't make it continuous. Um, let's factor this down. We know the numerator factor into two binomials. The de not denominator is going to stay put though. Okay, the numerator will factor into x plus 4 times x minus 2. Okay, now those the quantities x minus 2 cancel out. So the function is behaving like x plus 4. There is a removable discontinuity, a hole if you will, at x equals 2. But if you were to graph this, it would look like x plus 4. Now, if we take the limit of that and we approach the point in question, limit as x approaches 2 of this modified function. It's not the original function, it's like a modified simplified version of it. We will see by simple substitution this should be 6. This gives us a hint as to what the y value should be to quote fill in the hole. Okay, so to extend this function uh, we need to define simply f of 2 to equal 6. You can sort of think of this as a piecewise function where here's one piece up here and here's the other piece kind of extend that all the way down here. Okay, our last example here, um, piecewise function, is f of x continuous at x equals 3? If not, extend the function to make it continuous. Okay, well, our two pieces of this function, so to speak, are x plus 2 and 4x minus 7. It behaves like x plus 2 when I'm less than or equal to 3, and 4x minus 7 when I'm greater than 3. It comes down to just taking the limit Taking the limit as x approaches 3 as x plus 2 is the same as this function going from the left. It equals 5. Over here, if I, x approaches 3, the 4x plus 7 on the other side, we can see it also equals 5. So given that these y values are the same, the answer is yes.